This is a continuation of Onshape Bootcamp number one, where we've already created our shape. Everything looks good. So now we need to assign properties and figure out what our mass and our density is going to be. Um, so if we go down to part one, this is the part that we've created. And if you have a single piece, it should always just be one part. So to change the properties, I'm gonna right click on part one right there. And let's start with assigning the material. So we're told that this is made out of balsa. So within the library where it says none to assign the material, I'm just gonna type in balsa so I don't have to search. Oops, there we go. And balsa is just like a really, really thin type of wood. I'm gonna say, cool. So now the program believes that this is made of balsa. Uh, for our sake, let me unclick there. Um, let's also change the appearance. Let's make it look a little bit more balsa-y. Um, and it's kind of like a yellowish wood. I'm just gonna go with this yellow right there. All right, look at that beautiful balsa. Um, so we have identified the material we're using. We've changed the color to roughly match the material. So then all we need to do is get the properties. So if you look down here at mass properties and I click it, that's going to do a bunch of calculations as if this were th in real life. So it's telling me it's trying to select the parts to measure. So I'm going to click on part one. So all that data gets plopped into here. And notice they're saying, hey, if this is in real life, the mass is going to be 0 0.049 pounds. The volume is going to be 8.5 inches cubed. Service area, blah, 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 blah. Which is good. And this is, this is basically how we check to see if your drawing is correct. So when you are ready to turn this in, there are two images that you need to send my way. The first image is of your mass properties right here. The second is of your part plus your ID or your name up top. And I need to be able to tell who does that. So if you have a weird username on Onshape, make sure you change it so I, I know who to give credit for. So how I like to do this is I'm going to go to my snipping tool. So if I search and go snipping tool, this thing is amazing if you haven't used it already. Uh, if I go to new, I'm going to select the stuff that I want. And I want my mass properties right there. So in the Google Doc that holds your assignment, you're going to right click, copy, and then you can paste it into your document. Super, super nice. So your second image, I would go new, uh, potentially move this around so it's closer to your name up top. So this probably isn't the best place in the world to put it. Uh, I'm going to close out of mass properties. I'm going to close out of this, see if I can. not Just shift it a little bit closer. Um, and actually, let's just turn off our planes. So it says top, front, right. Let's just click on the little eyeballs to make those disappear so everything looks a little prettier. And maybe our origin too. Let's get rid of that. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my snipping tool. If you have to search for it, I have it on my my uh, taskbar. And I want to make sure my name is in there and my part is in there. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to select this to prove that it's my work. I'm going to right click, copy, and then I can paste it into my assignment. So once you have all that in, um, you know that you're good to go and you're ready to submit your assignment.